We begin with tributes for a fallen officer, friends, family, and even Governor Newsom honoring Officer Tyler Lenahan tonight. Good evening. I'm Rachel Wolf. Thanks for joining us. Our news is also streaming live on CBSN Sacramento right now. CBS 13's Madison Keevy spoke with members of Officer Lenahan's church family. She joins us now live from Sacramento with their stories, and he was just an outstanding citizen. Yeah, and that's exactly the reason why Governor Newsom has announced that flags right here at the Capitol are now flying at half staff in his honor. And as you know, I've gotten to know more about him today through those that knew and loved him, you know, most. Of course, he was a newer member of a Shingle Springs church, but that didn't make him any less memorable there. And his friends tell us stories a little bit more about him and about the heart that comes behind the back. It hits home. It hits hard. Truly, he was saved. Ty was definitely the Captain America of the group. It wasn't a coincidence that these four men and Ty Lenahan became friends. If you ask them, it was God. And he told us that he prayed it was either that morning or the night before that um, God would give him a sign that, that um, he would make friends here. That's the story that led to these photos. Gold Country Baptist Church is the place that led Lenahan to a brotherhood. God had just abundantly, you know, loved on him, and he just loved to pour that love out on as many people as he could get his hands on. Lenahan said that himself nine months ago. He spoke at his church's men's breakfast about his own faith journey. All right, here goes. This is not looking right, good. On a spiritual retreat, the fun-loving side of Lenahan. It's how these four remember him. <laughs> a larger-than-life sm smile. He had a big heart. He, he had a big God. The church where we meet tonight, where Lenahan met his brothers, is the same one Lenahan's grandma prayed he would find years before. When he did, well, his own words say it all. Now, one of the other stories that those friends shared with me tonight is what they had been praying on together as a group for a year now. They said that they had been praying for uh, Lenahan's wife's work schedule to work out so that she and his children could all go to church as a family on Sunday mornings. That prayer, they say, had just recently been answered. And tomorrow, tomorrow Sunday morning mass was going to be the first time that that family unit of Lenahan's was able to go to that church with him and experience that. And and those friends say that they are going to be there, of course, tomorrow to welcome his wife and children to the church, knowing that he is there in spirit. And that's how they're going to help his family moving forward. If you're interested in helping his family moving forward, there is one official memorial fund that's been put together through the Elk Grove Police Department. And a link to that is online. And all of those donations, they say, will go right back to the Lenahan family. Well, that will be a very moving, moving tribute tomorrow at church. Thank you so much, Madison.